Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose your car. If you have P0710 fault code for uh, automatic transmission temperature sensor. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at the wine diagram as usual. So basically I'm looking at the workshop manual for P0710 diagnostics for ATF fluid temperature sensor circuit. So here is uh, the wine diagram that I need to inspect the car. As you see, this is the temperature sensor, which is inside the transmission. Uh, so this one is the connector on the transmission. So this is the transmission connector. I do have the TCM transmission control module right there, and this is ECM. So on this specific car, I have separate control module for transmission and another one for ECM. On your car, you may have one control unit for both of them as a PCM powertrain control module. So first of all, if you have this fault, it means TCM do not receive the temperature sensor signal anymore. So in this case, the fault could be from the temperature sensor itself. It could be this wiring all the way from the sensor to the TCM or TCM itself. But how can we start performing the diagnostics? So basically we're not gonna go for uh, removing the sensor uh, from the transmission because we have to drain the ATF. Uh, we need to start performing the diagnostics to find the cause and then we can go for replacing if sensor is faulty, but you may have some problem on somewhere else, maybe on the wiring. So how can we proceed? So basically I have this connector, which is transmission connector. This connector is located on the transmission, but these two wires are reaching to the TCM as well and TCM is inside the car, on, on this car, on the passenger side behind the dash. And I'm gonna show you uh, the location and how to perform the diagnostic on it. So uh, basically what I can do, I can find, I can go for finding these two pins because they are more accessible to see what sort of diagnostics I can do, all right? So if I show you some other part of the uh, workshop manual for these fault codes, as you see, I do have the temperature sensor output voltage. All right, so basically on those two wires, I can check the output voltage. When ATF temperature is at uh, 20 degrees, I should get 1.5 volts. And if the temperature goes high, when transmission temperature is around 80 degrees, I should get 0 0.5 volts. So, so this is basically what I can read using the scan tool, or I can just measure it with a multimeter on those two pins that I showed you earlier. And of course, I have some other specification for sensor internal resistance, again, in two different range of temperature, because I have the internal resistance and the output voltage of the sensor. I can use the wiring to start diagnostic. So basically I have these two wires connected from sensor to TCM, and this one is ground. Uh, so if I check the voltage here, so I can read the sensor output voltage with a multimeter in case I don't have the scan tool. And for measuring the resistance, I can disconnect this connector on the TCM and measure the resistance between these two pins because that measurement is going to be the sensor resistance. But on TCM itself, how can I find these two pins? Uh, I do have the pin numbers, pin 47 and pin 42, these two pins. I do have the color code as well for pin number 47, the color is brown and for pin number 42, which is the ground, color is black. But which connector, because I do have two connectors on TCM, this connector is E32, but which one is E32? There is another part on the uh, workshop manual to help me find E32 connector, which is here. As you see, E32, is a gray connector this this one is referring to the connector color and as you see this one is pin 47 the brown wire and this one is pin 42 the black wire so it means if connector is connected and i check the voltage between these two uh, i should get i should get 1.5 when transmission temperature is at uh, 20 degrees and if i disconnect the connector and check the resistance between these two I have to get something close to 2.5 kilo ohm if the transmission temperature is at uh, 20 degrees centigrade. And just for finding the wires much easier, 
I have a guide here. Actually, this connector layout is actually shown from the back of the connector. So you need to have a look at the connector from the back find to find pin number 47 and 42. So first of all, let's connect the scan tool to see how we can read the sensor live data using the scan tool to perform the diagnostics. If you do have the scan tool, this part is going to be helpful. If you don't have the scan tool, I will show you how to do the diagnostics just using a multimeter. All right, I have already connected my scan tool to OBD2 connector. And let's see what we can do with the scan tool. All right, ignition switch is on. On system list, I'm gonna select transmission. And read data stream, TCM input signals. And if you Keep looking. All right. So this is the fluid temperature sensor, uh, 1.4. As you remember, I told you at 20 degrees, it should be something close to 1.5. This is okay. This is perfect. I had a couple of cases with wiring problem and the output voltage here was 2.5, which is obviously way different from what I need to get uh, at this temperature range. The scan tool shows me the temperature is okay. And basically, I don't have a fault right now in the car. I'm just trying to show you how to perform the diagnostics. If, if you are not getting any voltage here or if the voltage is high, it means there is something wrong on the sensor or most likely on the wiring. So you need to keep watching the video to see how I do the diagnostic on the uh, wiring. This is my TCM. Uh, as you remember, I told you on TCM, we are looking for E32 connector, which is a gray connector. I do have two connectors here one of them is white the other one is gray so i'm looking for this one so this is the connector as i told you uh for finding the pins you need to have a look at the connector from the back just like this and basically based on the workshop manual uh 47 at the bottom here is uh is the brown wire this is what i'm after and 42 right here the black wire So as you see, this one is actually the brown wire, second from the bottom right. And this one is actually the black wire for the sensor ground. All right, connector is connected. Let's turn the ignition switch on and measure the output voltage of the sensor. So on multimeter, I need to select voltage. And right now, I need to put the red probe on 47 and black one on 42 because 42 is a sensor ground. So as you see here, I'm getting 1.44. Uh, this is a sensor output voltage. It was exactly what I got from the scan tool. Uh, so this is how you can uh, measure it with a uh, multimeter as well, just on the uh, TCM connector. So right now the voltage is okay. As I said, I don't have the problem. I'm explaining the diagnostic procedure. If the voltage is okay, you, you shouldn't have any fault. But if you have the fault code, you may have a different range of the uh, voltage as well. So what I did right now, I can take this measurement on the TCM connector as well because if the voltage level is not okay, you may have some problem on the wiring between TCM and transmission itself. You need to go for finding the transmission connector and do the very same thing for checking the sensor output voltage on the transmission. And in that case, if you are not still getting proper voltage level, the problem is from the sensor itself. So right now, I select resistance. I have already turned the ignition switch off. Disconnect the connector. And now I'm going to measure the resistance. As you see, the resistance was 2.5 kilo ohm at 20 degrees. And now we're gonna see how much we will get. So 2.0 kilo ohm, because the temperature is not exactly at 20 degrees, 2.0 kilo ohm is acceptable, because normally if there is anything wrong, the uh, 
resistance is going to be too high or too low this range for the temperature of the transmission right now is okay so of course what you can do you can uh, test drive the car and let the transmission temperature to go high to reach that to reach to normal temperature something around 70 or 80 uh, degrees and check the internal resistance or output voltage on that range as well just to make sure that the sensor is functioning properly so right now i'm showing you how to take the measurement of course it's better to take the measurement when atf is cold and to take the car for the test drive and then you can take the measurement when temperature of the atf is high so basically for this fault even before starting to do any of these diagnostics uh, i will check the atf level and quality uh, because sometimes having low quality atf or low level of atf can cause same problem as well so i'm gonna go for checking the atf level and quality at the first place and if it seems to be okay then i move on to the electronic uh, diagnostic what uh, i explained so you can basically uh, check the sensor output voltage and resistance at the transmission connector or at the TCM connector just see which one is much easier for you uh, to start with in my case the TCM connector was more accessible I could do the diagnostic here much easier but generally if you take the measurement for example on TCM if you get uh, incorrect level of voltage here all right it doesn't mean that sensor is faulty because it might be on the wiring so if you don't get proper voltage here you need to take the measurement here but if your measurement here for example the sensor output voltage is not okay it might be the sensor itself and you have to get it replaced uh, thank you very much everyone for watching i hope you find the video helpful please don't forget to visit the channel page for more diagnostic video thank you very much